Hello everyone. I hope you can all hear me well. So I will continue from where Big stopped. I will continue to show you how to process Whopper data, which we have downloaded for a particular study area, and how to process that data to compute some of the performance indicators in QGIS. So here is a study area, which me, I think my following uh, presentations, we, we will all fo focus on this particular study area. This is the sugarcane scheme at Sinawane in Mozambique. And the season which we are going to consider is 12 months from September 2018 to October 2019. In this particular session, I will focus only on one year of one season in one year, which is 2018-19, the crop season. I'll be mainly showing uh, three Whopper data, three variables from Whopper, which is EPA, actually Whopper transpiration, transpiration and reference ED. And all the data sets which I'm going to show you is decadal. So one of the time frame which Whopper offer is 10 days data sets. They call it uh, as decadal data sets. So for a year, there will be 36 maps. So if you download for a particular year, for example, 2009, you can see that there are 36 maps. And on the right side, you will see 2018-19 maps, which I will be uh, using here, which cover the entire season. So because the season covers one year, it has 36 maps as well. But it can start from 2018 October to 2019 September. So what I'm going to show you is uh, to compute irrigation performance indicators in QGIS, which Abebe will, in the following session, will explain uh, it further, how to do that for all the years using Python. Here I will show you one year. Um, I will show you how to compute these indicators. And this is the workflow. We have uh, three variables, actually proper transpiration, reference ET, and transpiration. First, we have to do a seasonal aggregation to get seasonal maps. We have to mask to steady area. And then from the masked seasonal maps, we will compute those indicators. So without wasting much further time, let us get into QGIS. Uh, can I share the screen? So I'm going to share my screen to show you the process in QGIS. Okay, I hope you all are seeing my screen now. Okay. Yes. So as you can see this, uh, for me uh, here, the QGIS is open. I have a background map and you can see Sinawane, which is the uh, sugarcane uh, scheme, the boundary of Sinawane also open here. Um, now I will show you first how to compute seasonal maps. So let's compute seasonal actual WAPA transpiration from the data downloaded from WAPA. Uh, just uh, keep in mind that the, all the data which have downloaded in WAPA is already clipped to this rectangle. And also the conversion factor is already applied as Big just mentioned in the previous video. So to do a seasonal map, uh, let me just start from the beginning. I always go to processing toolbox where you get all the modules uh, available for raster and vector processing. Uh, I will use a module called r.series, which can be used to aggregate uh, a list of uh, raster maps based on different functions. So what we need to do is we have to add all the maps, all the decadal maps in that particular year to get the seasonal map. So I'll go to the folder, add files. So as you can see, in I have already arranged it. So actually, upper transpiration, 36 maps. These are the 36 maps covering that particular uh, year. I will add them here. And you can see that 36 uh, maps are selected. And the aggregate operation, I will select 
there are many operations available but in sort of average what i need is sum because we need to sum all those maps so i will select that one and you can keep all other uh, defaults and you can save this file and give a sensible name and giving it a name called seasonal e Oh, it looks like maybe Sajit dropped out for a moment, but hopefully he can join us again in a few minutes to finish his presentation. Um, but in the meantime, till so, oh, maybe we see him again. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was lost again. I'm using connected internet, but still. Okay, can you see the uh, screen again? Yeah. Okay, so you can see that the R dot series is finished. Um, so the map is open in the uh, map view. Now the next step is to clip uh, this particular raster layer based on the shape file which is open here in Xenovane. So for that I will go back to processing toolbox. I will search for clip and I can see there is a module called clip uh, raster by mask layer. I will select the input layer as seasonal ETA, mask layer as Xenovane uh, shape file. I will select the source and target CRS, both are same. So even if you don't select it, it should work. And then I will save this file as clip, underscore clip. And I will run it, be very quick. And you can see that I have a seasonal ETA already prepared here. I will remove the other one. So similarly, I have computed uh, clipped seasonal transpiration and reference ET maps. So I will, uh, you can follow the same uh, steps later on, but I will open them again. I will open them which I have already pre prepared previously earlier. So I have the seasonal ETA, seasonal transpiration and seasonal RED here. Let's give uh, some color quickly here to the transpiration. So you see I'm giving some random color scheme here. So this is how transpiration looks like. Now coming back to my uh, presentation, here you can see the first indicator which we need to prepare is uh, equity. And equity is coefficient of variation of the seasonal ETA over the entire study area. Here we, it's safe for us because the entire study area is one crop which is sugarcane and it's already clipped to that boundary. So we assume that there is no mixed uh, crops here uh, and it's true for uh, in the case of uh, Sinavana, it's sugarcane. So let's compute the CV coefficient of variation and to do that I will use a module called r.univar. Univar computes univariate statistics of a particular raster map and I will open it. I will select the seasonal ETA and uh, for, a, for a, another indicator which is coming uh, following this particular indicator we have also have to compute the percentile 99 percentile. So I'm also computing 99 99 percentile here. I will use comma as a separator and then I will save the univariate results into a text file and run it. So as we use the comma as a separator, we, it, uh, it can be opened as a comma separated file and I have already opened it here and you can see that it compute a lot of statistics and uh, one of the statistics is coefficient of variance which is 13.8 so that is you can consider as equity 
and you can also see that it has computed 99 percentile here which we will use later the next indicator which we are interested in is in is beneficial fraction it is uh, kind of easy to compute it's seasonal uh, transpiration divided by seasonal evapotranspiration so as big short earlier we will go to raster raster calculator uh, i will set an output layer first and uh, and I will use this name. I will call it BF2019 clear. And what is the, the equation is TA divided by TTA. And it should give me the uh, beneficial fraction. Uh, we can also give it a nice color. And it will give you much more information. So this is a beneficial fraction map for 2018-19 uh, crop year. Now let us uh, do the next indicator, which is adequacy. For adequacy, we need potential ET. So the, the equation we use is actual evapotranspiration divided by potential ET. And the potential ET is calculated by multiplying reference seasonal reference ET by KC. And the KC value which we are using here is 1.045 for sugar cane. So what we need to do is we'll go to the calculator again, compute uh, seasonal ETP, then uh, select reference ET multiply by 1.05. That will give you ETP, ETP is there. Then let us do so as I said, adequacy is ETA by ETP. So now let's select ETA divided by ETP, which will give you the adequacy map. In this case, maybe you are interested in the uh, in the univariate statistics. So you can quickly do statistics here, raster layer statistics, select adequacy. Just run it to give you minimum, maximum, and the mean value. Maybe the mean adequacy value is more uh, meaningful here, which is 0.63. Now let's come to the last one, which is the relative water deficit, uh, which is 1 minus ETA by ETX. So I have already showed, I have already shown you how to compute 99 percentile because in this case, the maximum uh, crop ET, the compute as 99 percentile of the seasonal ETA. It's one way of doing it. And I've already shown you using R.Univar how to compute different percentiles. Uh, there was a question in the, one of the last webinars. So that is already there in our, uh, in our statistics table, 1644.27 millimeter per season. So we will use that value to compute RWD. So we will go back to Russia calculator again. I will use, I will give it a name, RWD 2019 clip. And I will use the expression one minus, open the bracket, just clarify this TTA divided by what is the 99 personnel, 1644.27, 1644.27. Close the bracket, etc. And I get the RWD. You can also use it, uh, use the same color as the before. So, this is the relative water deficit. As I've shown you before, you can use the raster layer statistics to compute uh, the mean RWD value, which is 0.19. And uh, yeah, and that's it from my side on a hands-on demo.